Well, the Paris Summer Olympic Games of 2024 now in the books, but Los Angeles is already starting preparations for the next Summer Games four years from now. That's right. The city's mayor says she promises a, quote, no car games, end quote, through an expansion of their metro and public transit system. Reporter Rachel Menatoff has more. Welcoming home the official Olympic flag after more than 40 years on an epic journey from Paris to Los Angeles. This historic transfer signals to the world that the 2024 Olympic Games are over and LA 2028 is up next. I have a lot of standards I have to measure up to. I have to measure up to Paris, but more important than that, I have to measure up to LA. With its wealth of entertainment and sporting venues, L.A. is in a perfect position to welcome the nations of the world in 2028. Crypto.com Arena, SoFi Stadium, and the historic L.A. Memorial Coliseum will host dozens of events. Neighboring Long Beach, Temecula, and parts of the San Fernando Valley will also be showcased during various competitions. New sports will make their Olympic debut, including flag football, squash, and obstacle racing. And after a century-long absence, cricket is making a comeback. We had been anticipating for many years. We were all wishing that it eventually gets approved by the Olympic Committee, and it, it was last fall. LA leaders announced major changes to the metro to make it easier to travel around our massive, traffic-filled city, making real progress on the Metro D-Line, which will add seven new metro stops, including one near UCLA, home to the Olympic Village. So it really is an opportunity to introduce Angelinos and the world to a real grown-up network of a rail and bus system.